up, everybody? Tyler, Gavin, and Heather. What you're seeing now is the newest addition to the fleet. Figured it was time to upgrade. Got a 2014 Street Glide, 5,000 miles. Uh, so what I know is it's got 20 front wheel. It's been re-raked. They welded it to account for the 26 inch front wheel. Make it safe. Stretched saddlebags and rear fender kit. Vincent Hines exhaust. The chopped touring pack, which came with two little tweeters. It's all rigged up. Got speakers in the saddle bags. Speakers in the fairing naturally. Um, 5,000 miles. A little over 5,000. It has uh, stereo might kick on in a second. It has air ride in the rear and then a center kickstand, which the buttons to these are the little levers, switches are right there. Crash bars, highway peg. I need to get a LED headlight. But apart from you know getting it touched up with paint, it's about all that it needs. Just picked it up the 6th, rode it around a little bit. Nothing too crazy yet. And don't worry, I still got the Honda for all the Honda fans. Couldn't justify getting rid of it, so I got that. Makes bike number two. Two bikes, three trucks. Make bad financial decisions. But, uh... What do you think, Gavin? I mean, it looks like a nice bike, especially for the price. You have everything already done to it. Yeah, definitely a steal. What's your opinion, Heather? It's not too bad. <laughs> I need to get... Uh, some tips put on to make the exhaust come past the saddlebags. Might do some fishtails. Those things are loud and real crisp. But the, I'll show you the air ride real quick. You may have to come to this side, Heather. Accessories on. So, so I got my switch. Takes a little second. There we go. Goes up quite a ways. <laughs> yeah. How far are we off back there? Is it still raising? No. Oh. So that's as high as it goes, and then we'll move the kickstand. Oh, where is it? Down here. And as you can see, my feet are like barely planted. I don't ride with it this high, but here's it all the way aired out. So that's all the way down. Completely aired out, no more. Sets real low. I don't ride around with it this low either because with the shock fully compressed, it rides a little stiff naturally. But um, kickstand's pretty cool. Like I said, it's on a switch. You just click it up or down and it just beep. Um, I don't know what brand or anything. I'm totally going to pull this up in the garage. Upgraded to Rockford Fosgates. 
It has a four channel amp in the fairing, which I'm not gonna take off to show. Now it's got the rock phosphate in the fairing, the saddlebags, and then these are DB drive. Crazy loud, um, I love it. It's all crisp audio, there's no bass. Thought you quit recording because you look down. Sorry. But uh, the tweeters, I just ran the wires down here and then teed into the saddlebag wires. They don't draw a whole lot of power. So, a little quick, easy fix. I got to buy new hardware for the saddlebags, a new hardware for this thing. And then, one of my favorite things is this light up here. It acts as the blinkers. I'll throw on the hazard so you can see both of them. And then, of course, you got the regular blinkers and stuff down here. So, I don't know why, but this thing right here, it's one of my favorite things. But we'll throw in some startups. Um, I don't know if we have any non-copyrighted music to test the speakers, but we probably would be able to get the full effect. So it also has this key fob. Um, like, no, no buttons or anything. It's more like a sensor thing. If this isn't within like five feet of the bike, the bike won't start unless you know the pin, but you know, not everyone's gonna know your pin. So this is kind of like an anti-theft to a point. You know, I can still just roll away, but I'll probably buy, I need to get the key so I can lock the forks. I just got this little compartment. My phone's too big to slip in there, so I just, that's where I keep the key fob when I'm on the bike. And if that thing pops up and down the road, I can see it fly out, so I'd know where. But yeah, we'll uh, have Heather go back there and we'll start the bike to let y'all hear it. It is baffles, or non-baffled. I took those out. They're over there on the ground by that red Milwaukee if you want to go look at it. Dang. I'm re shake at least all the ones around here they shake that crazy um as far as i know well i'm not gonna say that like truthfully uh oh you don't see very many stretched big wheel baggers in durant um so as far as i know this is probably gonna be the only one cruising around most of the time um the reason i wanted the street glide is because i'm not a fan of the road glides because I like the fairing to turn with the handlebars, which I mean the difference between those is the fairing and it's all about preference. Um, I like the state, or not the stationary, I like the fairing that turns. Uh, the road glide has the stationary. Also wanted it for more room, just because, you know, saddlebags. The ones they offer for the Hondas, I don't really like. And with these stretch saddlebags, these things, they go on forever. There's so much room down there. Touring pack, of course. Uh, it's got this nice dark blue. It has the stretch tank kit too. Just like a, I guess like an overlay that makes the tank look longer. It's got the 103 engine, twin cam. And then, yeah, that, uh, that about sums it up. A little quick little intro video for the new Street Glide. Um, Y'all drop some names on what you think I should name it. Still haven't figured out a name, but um, winter plans. I plan to paint this to match the blue. You know, fix the scratches, scratches on the saddlebags, 
Fix the screeches. <laughs> the screeches. And then I'm also going to paint the inner fairing the same blue. That way it'll all be color matched. I'll probably keep the nice blue to chrome ratio. Need to get this big wheel polished or insanely clean. Get that mirror finish. Um, it does have the one brake disc in the front instead of the two. But other than that, that about sums it up. Like I said, y'all shoot some names in the comments. See what you think I should name it. And apart from that, don't forget to like, follow, subscribe. And then we'll see you next week doing something. Give us some ideals to do because we're running low. What do you got, Gavin? All right. All right, nice talk. But don't forget also, 500 subscribers. We're going to do a tug of war with the White Knight. Versus Gavin's 1500 Chevy over there. I'll show you, don't worry. 500 subscribers. You know, get your family to subscribe, like, follow, and then once we get there, we'll go. We'll figure out if we want to do it on concrete asphalt or dirt might do all three figure it out go to his land um they're both four-wheel drive the only difference is mine probably weighs about four thousand more pounds oh and my tires aren't bald <laughs> what yours is not a lot faster son i will gap you flew past you was i even there yeah you were behind me I think you're on crack. On the little back of the crank? Nah, I don't remember that. I guess we'll have to see. Alright, sounds like we may do a race too. So, all around, you know, versus. But yeah, y'all let me know what you think. See y'all next week.